Hi everybody, I'm Blaine Toller. Come to you again from the Bigfoot Barn in Northeastern Ontario. All right, Gas Station Sasquatch. Okay, so this is a little bit more detailed breakdown about this footage I got behind the gas station. Um, I knew they were in the area. Um, I got a picture of one or two crossing the field. Um, might have had wood knocks before, um, but. It was one of those situations where, you know, I'm still recovering. Actually, got a little better and since I got this footage. And um, so I had to be in a kind of a stationary situation. So I went out and uh, used the uh, natural bait of the fumes from the burger place. Excuse me. And I um, just watched the tree line. I think I uh, two attempts. Two attempts this spring, summer, maybe three. Um, but the second time I got that little clip with the, the Sasquatch, and it's actually two adults, two adults. Um, one is moving side to side, kind of tree peeking or, uh, gap peeking sort of, you know, it's got cover and then there's a gap. So it looks over, looks through the gap, watches me, looks back. Um, another one, uh, is, uh, gets up and walks through a bigger gap and, um, the, the big the bigger one um, you can see it stride you can see it from like lower torso down to uh, maybe the knee it strides through the gap and then the key thing is um, its right arm swings and it's got a big cupped hand looks like a bunch of bananas or something you know carrying a banana that's how big their hands and fingers are right so uh, Nate over NVTV posted this and I took a couple stills and borrowed a little clip of his footage of my footage and uh, there's the peaker going side to side and then the bottom arrow shows the gap where the walker gets up and walks away and you can see him stride and and uh, his arm swing okay so I'm gonna use uh, Nate's clip of my footage there uh, he's got the arrows in and and while the Sasquatch are moving so that'll help people but there's the two Sasquatch one just walked by and the other one's tree peeking and the one adult that's still there he's still moving look at him going side to side takes a quick peek goes and hides takes a quick peek goes and hide and then I uh, filmed to the top I'm trying to see if I can spot other movement um, and speaking of that I was like 75 yards away or so right so what I seen was a light gray animal I guess if you just want to be skeptical go walking by and um, some people well, how do you know it's not an animal well first of all uh, they're about eight feet tall <laughs> and black bears are black right um, so uh, that eliminates that uh, might be a little up uphill inclined there but um, this is th that one there that's like three feet at least above the grass which is three four feet so that's seven feet the smaller uh, peaker right and then um, and then the much bigger walker strides by the big gap and I'm just over there uh, that back of the parking lot behind a gas station uh, um, burger place thing and um, I'm just trying to nail more movement here seen that so I'm trying to focus in and I'm thinking well maybe you know maybe if they panic maybe I'll film something else so all right so here it is a little bit slower um, and I put the arrow beside my name because after the walker you can still see the peaker going side to side and the peaker's moving right there I can see him right there moving above my name about middle screen and that gap and he's moving now the walker walks by you can see a shaggy light gray hair because it's in the sun normally it might be a little bit more charcoal colored you see his arm there big old hand and uh, it's like it's about from his waist down to his knee what I captured there and then there's a peaker moving back and forth in the gap now that's probably another adult because of the height of it and and not just the height yeah he could be standing on a branch or something but it's also the size of his head um, his head looks much too big to be a juvie and I guess the juvies uh, are only juvenile to up to about the height of five feet or six feet then once they start mating then um, I guess they considered an adult so that one's at least my size so that's a young adult and then the big classic eight-foot Sasquatch walked by the gap now um, 
a lot of people uh, like to talk, well, I don't see it. Well, you know what? It's real Sasquatch. If, you, if Sasquatch is so easy to see, then everybody would have footage. Sasquatch have hollow hair, as I might have mentioned before, and then they sweat and it makes their hair them even harder to spot because of the sweat is greasy and it helps refract the light off their hair. Um, they're much faster than us. They can hide better and they're strategically smarter in the woods. So, um, but you know that's not going to stop trolls. I'm just trying to trash it because either they're jealous of my popularity or they're jealous that I got footage. So who cares what those guys think? They never use their real name. Their opinion doesn't re mean much. And the breakdown guys who don't use their real name could be just trolls too for certain big fan organizations. But anyway, pretty cool. Real footage of Sasquatch. Right, so I just want to add that I have swung around that restaurant gas station and uh, trying to time it when it's not so busy, but in the summer it's pretty hard to do that. But I'll get some follow-up footage. Um, hit that sub, like, and share button. Um, there's a Patreon channel link below. There's a PayPal link. Help me raise funds for a 4K camera. So when I catch them in the open, you'll have the best possible footage. Thanks for watching.